I'm being drugged back and forth between the group who saw me as the evil and the group who saw me as their answer and their ticket to whatever power exists. And how were you able to survive that emotionally? I don't know some days. <laughs> uh, a, lot of, a lot of it sort of organically came as a result of having to survive, I have to say. It's like, what are you going to do with yourself when you're put in situations like the one? I guess I could talk about my awakening experience if you'd like. Sure, sure. Okay. So when I was a teenager, <clears throat> the guy who, who was my keeper, that's what they call it, someone who's completely in charge of you within the group, had this hole in his backyard made for me. It was about like a four foot by three foot hole. And he used to hog tie my ankles and arms together and then put me down inside this hole. And I had no idea how long I'd be down there. So I had no idea whether he would kill me afterwards or set me free. So it was like one of those scenarios where it's absolute torture because obviously that's a survival situation. But I started to notice that if my attention was placed on like the ants, an ant really caused my awakening. I would watch the ants crawl around in this hole and crawl around all of these roots that were sticking out of the hole. And I watched as they didn't really resist the roots, they just sort of went around them. That was number one, that's sort of the art of allowing, right? But then I noticed this other thing, which was that if I was focusing on the ants, I started to feel emotional relief. Whereas if I was focusing on what might have happened to me 10 minutes, 15 minutes, an hour in advance, I was miserable. Right, because you're 